Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us for another segment in our video podcast series where we present a unique idea in a short format as compared to our more in-depth webinar format. Today's topic is hybrid SOC. My name is Eric Gordon. I'm the managing partner of Versate. We are a provider of virtual captive outsourcing solutions in the divisions of Systems Plus. And my name is Sapan Chaksi. I'm the CEO of Systems Plus, an offshore IT outsourcing firm. We started the concept of the virtual captive in 2009 with Eric while he was the CIO of a multinational company. Since then, the concept has grown to where we now serve clients across multiple industries. A virtual captive is a dedicated extension of your IT team offshore. It works better and costs less than legacy offshore, with most of our clients operating teams of experienced resources at rates of under $20 blended. Today we're going to be discussing the concept of a hybrid SOC, also known as a security operations center. Managing IT security is all about trade-offs, and we find that many companies are either missing key capabilities or don't execute processes effectively, which results in a security incident. Today we'll present an innovative approach to IT security that will make it cheaper and more effective for you and allow you to turn security into an advantage. Sapan, so, set the stage for us. Thanks. So, there are many vendors and tools in the information security space, and third-party compliance frameworks like PCI uh, to the mix, and many companies feel like the rules are always changing and they need to spend more money every time they turn around. The vendors in the industry tell you, buy our tools, hire our services, and everything will be okay. Since the security industry is trying to sell you both tools and services, what they don't tell you is execution is much more important. Having merely okay tools, but executing your security and compliance tasks really well, always beats having the best tools with poor execution. Eric, what do you feel the reason is? Well, the, f the first reason is that security and compliance standards place a lot of expectations and requirements on IT. Some are policy requirements, but most of these frameworks specify tasks and activities that you must actually do. It's work. Hence, the importance of execution. Second, the illustration on this slide shows how all key compliance frameworks map to the same core IT capabilities. We call these IT domains. We aren't going to break out the details, but you can do that exercise yourself by researching the High Trust framework, which maps all the varying security and compliance frameworks to a core set of IT capabilities. This slide illustrates how SOX controls on the left, HIPAA and some auditor observations on the right all map to the same set of IT capabilities in the center. You could add the ISO framework, NIST, or COBIT to this slide, and they'd all map to the same set of core IT execution capabilities. That's why IT execution becomes your foundation and key to security success. The IT capabilities that surround a security and risk program include the following domains. The first is SIM tool management. SIM stands for Security Information and Event Management. And it's a tool that examines systems logs and then uses logic and some AI to spot possible security problems. These tools require administration, tuning, monitoring, and management to keep them updated and functioning. Not every company chooses to invest in a SIM tool, but it can be a very important anchor of your IT security program. Every company has IT processes and activities dedicated to managing user endpoints and distributed compute devices. Antivirus, anti-malware, and access control are all used to secure desktops, laptops, and other devices. Every company has data. This domain involves the tools and processes for identifying and protecting key data through encryption and controlling access to data and information. These tools and activities can also prevent accidental disclosure of information through email or loss of a laptop. Next is the infrastructure domain which includes the management of all network and computing infrastructure assets, such as cloud, servers, firewalls, the network, data centers, and others. In addition to the operation of these components, this domain includes vulnerability scanning and patching activities. The identity management domain includes user setup, user deprovisioning, and access control. Preventing unauthorized access to technology assets is a core capability that applies to every company. Failures in this domain are a factor in nearly 
every publicly disclosed breach event. Finally, the risk and incident domain includes the security program management, risk management, business continuity, disaster recovery, and security incident management processes and activities. So all compliance and security frameworks map back to these core areas. What you notice is that this is a lot of activity that requires specific IT skills, defined roles, and attention to detail. These aren't hobby tasks, and if they're handled by many separate teams, can create execution challenges. Given this background, let's explore how companies get themselves into trouble. Typically, what most companies do is build security and compliance capabilities, one capability at a time. First, they might uh, focus on endpoint management and buy a solution and the vendor. Next, they might add the data domain with other tools and another vendor. Finally, they might add SIM tool and managed services provider. This multi-vendor approach results in a proliferation of teams and vendors, which creates issues with handoffs and problems integrating the activities resulting in serious execution problems. There is a better way though. If you use a security center of excellence or a hyperstock approach, you can eliminate these handoffs and execution problems. You still should have an internal CISO team to uh, manage the program. A virtual captive hybrid SOC allows you to build a single team with hybrid skills for the execution. That is, you can assemble an offshore team with infrastructure skills, SIM skills, identity management skills, data domain skills, and other to create an integrated security focused center of excellence team that can handle varied tasks in a seamless manner. This approach has fewer handoffs and results in a better execution of security and compliance tasks. So what is a virtual captive and why does it make for a better approach? Let's start with the fact that virtual captive teams have more experienced resources than legacy outsourcing options and this adds more value to our clients' businesses. A virtual captive team is a dedicated offshore team. It's a lower turnover model and the team members have better knowledge retention and intellectual property protection than legacy providers. A virtual captive operates with more speed and agility and can adopt and adapt to a client's challenging business needs. Icing on the cake is that it costs less, often 40% less than traditional legacy outsourcing. Our clients are operating their virtual captive teams at less than $20 an hour, if you can believe it. That's why we use a virtual captive as a baseline alternative approach. If you use a security center of excellence approach like this, using a virtual captive model, you can put execution tasks offshore in the low cost structure while retaining the program management roles internally. In conclusion, you have two options for how to build out your security center of excellence to improve execution. One is to use ad hoc vendors and teams, which is what most companies do and is the source of many problems. Well, option two uses the offshore virtual captive hybrid SOC approach. Since execution is the most important information security success factor, you will always get better results using the hybrid SOC approach versus a multi-vendor approach. The ultimate benefit, though, is the low cost. Companies often shortchange their security and compliance teams because they can't afford to hire all of the needed talent. A hybrid SOC approach not only works better, it costs less often half or even a fourth the cost of a multi-vendor approach. Hopefully you've gained some ideas as to how you can simplify your approach to IT security and get more effective execution for less money. There are many high-profile examples of security incidents in the media. You can find news stories almost weekly. All of these incidents are either entirely due to a lack of execution or due to a lack of capabilities. Companies that spend a lot of money on security tools still have breaches, which point to execution-related issues. Please, don't be a victim in this process. Get help. Our methodology and approach can help mitigate those risks and set you up for success. Contact us at info at for more information. Thank you for listening, and best wishes to you in your IT security journey. Thank you.